One Championship has been doing a great job of showcasing not only the fighters, but some of the behind the scenes training footage as well. And I'm often asked to comment on some of the exercises that have been shared on social media. And here's one I've been asked to comment on recently. It's an interesting variation of a chest throw that's now directed at the floor, rather than either a wall or a training partner. Now you should never take an exercise out of context of the overall training program or the individual needs of the fighter, but I'll share with you my initial thoughts here. Firstly, this exercise is only practical if you have a non-bouncing ball or you're going to smash your face in. And I speak from personal experience there. That said, this exercise is a good way of targeting an explosive upper body pushing pattern while engaging your core to support it. And this could be used in a more general block of training further from a fight. I personally wouldn't use this closer to a fight because there are some foundation differences in the movement that makes it less Muay Thai specific. And that's not a problem further from the fight, but to explain what I mean. So this floor chest throw trains a pattern of upper body push combined with hip and knee flexion. You can see he's bending here at the hips and at the knee as he extends his arms. That's not a particularly functional pattern for Muay Thai fighters, which would normally pair hip and knee extension, that's straightening the hip and knee, with an upper body pushing action. For example, while punching. And in Muay Thai, hip and knee flexion, bending at the hip, is normally paired with upper body pull, for example, in the clinch and while kneeing. So depending on the purpose of the exercise, my preferred versions of this for Muay Thai fighters would be either a chest pass horizontally against the wall to pair hip and knee extension with a horizontal throw. And let's just watch that again. So you can see as he throws out horizontally, the hips and the knees extend. And that's completely different to the previous exercise where the hip and the knees were flexing as you extended your arms. Or another exercise that I would also like for Thai boxers are a vertical slam into the floor. And again, you can see as that pulling action comes in, the hips and the knees actually flex. So let's watch that again. So that pattern again is more functional for Muay Thai. If all I wanted was a power endurance exercise where a quick return of the ball was key, then that chest throw against the floor would be an option if I didn't have a wall to throw the ball at. Now there are lots of exercise variations that you could use and they all have a place in a fight camp depending on where you're, what your training age is and where you are in your fight camp, how close you are to your fight. And I hope that sharing my thoughts on this exercise will help you choose which exercises you select for your training program and why. And I'll catch you next time.